Welcome to Mob Stunning Videos. We are going to install VMware ESXi server today I'm on, a, I'm on a laptop so you might hear some ambient noise I'll try to suppress those things um, as possible So let's create the virtual machine uh, ESXi It's already ESXi compatible ESX compatible Here is my <coughs> also located in the C drive. The machine name should be ESXi. The machine should be created in my documents. It's okay with me. Number of processors would be one. With next two, two gigabytes of RAM, good networking. And uh, IO controller types would be LSI logic, and the hard disk would be created. We're going to create a new virtual hard drive. And the type would be SCSI, and the space we're going to allocate is 10 GB for primary storage. And it should be saved in my documents also. Documents. Let's get finish. Okay. You can so hit the install button and enter actually. As you can see, it already detected the CPU type in the machine. It's P9400. Let's see, scan the machine a bit. for installations of 11 for accepting and um, continue the in in installation process you can enter and continue f11 to install this is going to take a couple of minutes we're going to wait for it Let me show you my internet connections. As you can see, I have a DHCP address of VLIP. <coughs> I have a whole chunk of it, so it will be assigned momentarily a new IP. I'm running uh, Windows 7 Enterprise SP1 in the host machine. So let's wait some more. So it's done, click enter to reboot.
finally initial screen came up let's so that's that and the for, for the first time when you log in it's already blank so enter to continue so type in your primary password uh, as you can see, the old password is grayed out. That means the password is you don't have any password. Type in the new password. Enter OK. <coughs> Management network. This is where you get to configure your network card and IP addresses and everything. So everything's Okay, step to go back. IP V6 configuration, DNS configurations, all everything is already picked up by the installer. And configure keyboard, support information, troubleshooting options. So almost everything is already done. So let's see if the system is picking up from the network and as you can see it's already showing me a uh, this is the post access forms you can find it uh, from the internet explorer type it in it should be in your it should be accessible My machine is running a bit slow. Okay, let's go up. I think it's one to one dot two hundred dot sixty one. There it is. So I to download the spare, spare time so you can manage the server I'm going to show this in the next video so hopefully this video will actually uh, give you some insight but and we have already downloaded the VI client from this link and you only download only need to download this once. Let's install it. Click OK. Click next, thanks, agree to the terms. Install it. <coughs> Thank you. 
this is going to take some time so I'm going to pause the video and come back right after the process completes and the process for the installation for this account has been completed let's click on the display client type in the IP address and your credentials ignore the certificate errors for primarily okay within 60 days yeah I get it okay this is your primary inventory you can also install okay let's go through uh, the step by step the summary I don't have any the two machines installed in this machine right now so this is about it my processor CPU the manufacturers of the, uh, the game or server and it's also show you the network card it's using data store and you can also install new virtual machines from a resource tool maintenance mode the root shutdown whatever you actually want to do and in the virtual machine there are none actually over here this is allocations the capacity and available RAM and uh, memory and the CPU capacity is available. Let me show you all the things that that's available to you. Of the performance drops, configurations, processors, the things that we are actually using. We have the breakdowns of every sensors of the hair. You can also uh, do some maintenance of the hair. Local users and groups. You can also add some users of the hair. Events. This is the event tracker. And the permissions. So this is primarily the main workflow uh, and after in the videos I will show you the installation of virtual machines and how to maintain those things so hopefully this video is informational to you bye